I'm George Whipple. The Spoon River Project, a play based on the Spoon River Anthology, a book written in the early 1900s, was performed at Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn. In the play, the dead speak to the living. The secret of man. The sower. The secret of woman. The soil. My secret. Under a mound that you shall never find. The play was newly adapted and directed by Tom and Delora. It's a book of 244 uh, free verse poems that are presented by the people of the fictitious town of Spoon River. Uh, the twist is that they're all dead and they're all coming back to talk about their lives. Diamando Stratakos plays one of the living dead. I think that my personal favorite is probably Margaret Fuller Slack. She's the one that gets the most laughs, but she's an early writer. She always wanted to have a novel published and instead she got wooed by someone married, had eight children, and then never had time to write, and then died while washing her baby's clothing from lockjaw. And the last line of her little speech is, sex is the curse of life. It's based on people's lives, and they're telling their stories once they've passed away, so what better setting to do it in than a cemetery? And doing it at Greenwood, this cemetery is very Victorian style, built in 1838. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, as you can see through the background, it's just a wonderful place with great monuments and stones around. Carl DeForest Hendon, one of the actors, has had his own supernatural experience. What did the spirit say? It just kind of yelled, but there was nobody there. That's creepy, man. Why was it yelling? probably just wanted to hang out with me. You can check out ticket availability on green-wood.com. Come on out to Brooklyn. Come on out to the Greenwood Cemetery and experience the living, talking, and singing dead. At the Greenwood Cemetery, George Whipple, New York One.